All right, time for the Richardson Review on the football fever. Jay, if my professors had it this easy when they graded me, <laughs> I'd be good right now. But, You'd have uh, graduated. This was good. Uh, I did graduate. I'm but, just messing uh, with yeah. you. Listen, Son. let's just take it from the top. <laughs> the Silver Bullet started the game with a pick six by Damon Webb. That's a pick six by our corner. That's how our defense started. That's how you want to start a football game. The Buckeyes defense continued to shine all night, holding the Cornhusters to just around 200 or so total yards and just nine first downs. Let me tell you something. If that doesn't get you an A-plus, in my book, nothing else will. Nate, that would have got you an A. That gets this defense an A. But now let's get to the unit we've all been waiting for to reemerge. The Buckeye offense started all off with JT Barrett. He went 26 for 38 with four scores in the air and looking like his old self, not to mention throwing to nine different receivers. One of those being all everything back Curtis Samuel, who dominated with 178 total yards and two scores on his own. What was most critical, I thought, tonight was the penalties were not an issue. Because of that, the Buckeye offense gets the easy A+. I mean, it's, it's kind of yes. hard to take that from them after mm -hmm. what they did today. Last but not least, let's get to the special teams unit. I want it so badly, Nate, to give these guys an A. I'm like, man, they're, they're out there. They've been playing good. They've been doing yep. everything. So week in and week out, been playing great. Here's the problem. You cannot turn the ball over on special teams. That's the only flaw. So many kickoff coverages taken down inside the 20 for our, for our coverage unit. That's a fantastic job they did. Durbin went two for two on field goals. But Dontre Wilson, my man, hold on to that rock, please. Just do that, and your unit gets an A. Because that did not happen, B+. Plus. They're hey. going to call me harsh, but... Hey, it's still a fair night, right? The good news, they didn't have to punt after two straight weeks of getting one blocked. So that's, yes, that's good, yes. right? A score on, what, almost <laughs> every offensive possession. There were some unprecedented numbers put up today. I mean, it was just a big-time night, I think, for the Buckeye. All three units played fantastic. And the reason for the B-plus was that fumble by Don Trey and Urban said in the postgame, if you miss it, that he is going to entertain Demario McCall returning yeah. punts. He has shown to be a little bit electric, uh, usually in fourth-quarter scrub time. But when you do that, every time you get in the ball game you got to get the ball more well did he lead us in rushing too i mean that kid looked electric out there very fast very quick on the edges all right thank you that was the richardson review much more coming including clay and obi's keys to the game we'll find out right after this